Hi guys, in this video, we're gonna walk you through how to set up Google Ad Conversion Tracking with GTM or Google Tag Manager. In this video, you're gonna learn how to set this up the right way, so that way you can measure performance on your campaigns and you know which one's the scale, which one's the pause. But the whole point of this video is for you to really step-by-step step understand the process of setting up your conversion tracking. If you're running Google ads, running YouTube ad campaigns right now to drive conversions, if that is your goal, if your goal is to get leads, book calls on a website or on your funnel, you need to set up Google ads conversions, okay? If you don't, you're not gonna know which campaigns are generating the results, right? So some of you guys may be using third-party tracking and that's fine, but you want Google ads conversion added because that is what feeds the algorithm and what's gonna help you make optimization decisions as well when you are optimizing your campaign. Okay, so we're gonna dive into my screen and we're gonna look at GTM. The things that you need before setting up Google Tag Manager is make sure that you have the conversion actions page open, okay? Because this is what you're gonna use to create these conversions and to synchronize them with GTM. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing, whatever funnel builder, right? Landing page builder you're using, you wanna open that as well because you're gonna be adding some script to those specific pages. First things first, we do want to add the GTM script, right? So you wanna to go to tagmanager.google.com. If you don't have an account, you wanna create one. That's the first step is creating an account. So you go to tagmanager.google.com. That's step one. Step two, you wanna add the script to your funnel. There are a couple of ways to do this. One is you go to admin and then you go to install Google Tag Manager and you have this script here. Okay, so you wanna read the instruction. You wanna paste this code as high as in the head of the page as possible or where you're installing it. And then we have another code here that's after the opening body tag. So you can do it from here. There's an also another way, a faster way, is this is your GTM code. You can just kinda of click it and there you go. Easier access, right? Wanna work smarter. So here we have this code. I have my, my funnel builder. In this case, we're using Unbounce. So let me just go back here so you show you. So these are the test pages we're using. Right, so this is a test page that we're using here. I hit edit. This is obviously going to be looking, uh, it's going to look different to you depending on what funnel builder you're using. But here, JavaScripts, and notice I already added it here, but it's the same process, right? So I'll erase it, I'll just add it again. Okay, this is the GTM code, and notice, notice the placement is on the head, but we're not done yet. So the next script that we want to add is this one after the opening tag, and that's the one that we added here. Okay, and it should actually be after the opening tag. If you have doubts, go ahead and confirm. It says after the opening tag and hit done. Then you obviously want to save it. So yeah, so this is just a, a sample page. It's obviously just for an opt-in, uh, people to get this guide. It's like a lead magnet type of funnel. Okay, there you go. So we added the script in here. The next step that we need is to create the conversion action. So we have created a few in here. And by the way, since we are talking about conversion actions, I do want to give you guys some tips that come directly from uh, Google Growth Reps. A lot of you might have multiple conversion actions like this, and this is obviously just a test account that we're using, but even then, like all of these actions here, set as primary, is not the best practice for setting up your conversions. I know this may sting a little bit to, to some of you if you have multiple conversions set up primary, right? If you basically have something like this, right? You can see there's just a whole bunch of conversions here. But what Google says that is a best practice is you want to limit it to just one main conversion action that you want to optimize your account on. If it's course, if it's purchases, for example, then you go by purchases, right? But you don't wanna have multiple primary conversion actions because what ends up happening is the algorithm gets confused and it doesn't know what to optimize for. And typically it will optimize for the easiest conversion that it can get. So in this case, for example, notice that we have, you know, we have outbound clicks here. This is just like, a, this is a custom conversion and we also have engagement. So what happens is if we optimize based off of this, or if these are set as primary, and these are the easiest conversions that it gets, it's gonna optimize for this, okay? And it's gonna try to get you more traffic of people that will end up doing this conversion, taking action on this, but that's not necessarily what you want. So in this case, what we want is the opt-ins, for example, right? So these are obviously examples, but I'm just gonna set up the conversion action to show you. And I'm just gonna open one up real quick here to show you what I'm talking about in terms of the action optimization, okay? 
So the action optimization, it tells you this. This action will be optimized for and reported in the conversions column by default and any time the submitted lead goal is used in your campaigns. So remember, on your campaigns, you could actually set it up in a way that it just optimizes for specific actions that you want, you know, that you want to aim for. Okay, that's the whole point of this. If I put a secondary, then it's just secondary, it won't be used by the optimization, right? So remember, the algorithm, once you feed the data to it, you know, and you tell it, hey, I want to optimize for sales, I want to optimize for opt-ins, it'll do what you tell it to do, right? But it will get confused if, if you have all these conversion actions in, um, uh, in primary, right? So that's why they say you want to limit it. Okay, you want to have one specific action. Hey, really quickly, if you are somebody that's looking to get into YouTube ads, whether you want to do it yourself or you want it completely done for you, what I recommend is that you go down to the description of this video and click on the top link. What that will allow you to do is book a free strategy session with somebody on our team where we will sit down with you completely for free and see if YouTube ads make sense for your business. And with that, let's jump back into the video. Now, let's go ahead and create our conversion action for this particular example, and we're gonna connect it with GTM. So you go to new conversion action. In this case, we wanna track actions on a website, okay? Okay, so this is a new thing here where you can add the domain where you're going to set up conversions and it'll actually scan it. It'll suggest basically what to track on this funnel based on the type of funnel it is, okay? You do have to go through it here, and it'll scan it, and then it'll say, add a conversion action manually. So that's what we're gonna do, and here, we're going to select the goal and, op and action optimization. Here, obviously we wanna go for submit lead form, okay? That's the whole point. So there's a leads category. You can see here there's multiple sales category. If, it, if you're doing e-com, right? If it's more lead generation, this is where you do it, right? And depending on what you're going after. So if it's book appointment, do book appointment. If it's signing up for something, question quote. So you have multiple categories here. So I'm gonna do submit lead form in this particular case. And here is where you can change that optimization option. Okay, so by default, it will show it as primary. So that's that's what I'm saying. You need to go in and change these or even just remove redundant. So I've seen this in a lot of accounts where you have multiple conversion actions, right? Or one conversion action that's duplicated more than you know two times and you're tracking the same thing. That's not a best practice because you know, you know, you might think, oh, but it's getting it gets getting the more conversion, so it's feeding the algorithm. Trust me, that's not how it works. And this coming, this is coming from a Google rep directly, okay, a growth rep at that. So these are people that they, after a certain amount of spend, they they guide you through and they give you the best practices. They put you in beta lists, okay, in, in beta testers uh, list, things like that. They're saying just one conversion action, okay. I want to. I'm driving that home just so that way you guys understand you want to simplify your account that way. So we're just going to put a, an opt in here. So I'm going to put free guide lead and the value. Just put uh, for leads, I want to put like a dollar here just to give it a value. I usually like to do this, especially if I'm looking at data from the Google Ads uh, app. I can actually identify these conversions as a lead. And if I, you know, if it was like a book call, I'll put like $10, things like that. These are things that you can do and eventually you can actually optimize and create campaigns based on conversion value, okay? So target conversion value and basically optimize for higher value type of conversions, okay? So that, that's something that I don't strongly recommend you guys start doing. Obviously, if, if it's, you know, if it's a purchase, if it's income, it's gonna be a little different. You do wanna give it the, the value that, you know, of the product of what it is, right? So let's move down here. Count, I do one, okay? It's recommended for leads this we can leave as is okay we hit done and now we just save and continue all right so here is where you set up the tag there are multiple ways to go about this uh, a lot of folks they who don't who are staying away from gtm maybe just because they don't they haven't had the time or just you know they don't like to learn it but this is the whole point of this tutorial is so that you can leverage it because when you start going into setting up a tag with this uh, you're going to run into a couple of technical things, right? So you want to install a tag and then you, maybe you, you already had a tag installed. This is going to get a little messy uh, for you, right? You, there, but you could still do it, right? The other thing is you can still email instructions to somebody that knows how to add scripts, somebody that's aware. But today we're going to use GTM. That's the whole point of this video. So uh, it makes it very easy. So let me uh, go ahead and break this down. Okay, so we're going to hit this option. Use Google Tag Manager. 
Now here, you actually have some specific instructions here, but that's the whole point of this video is to, to simplify it for you. So we have a conversion ID and we have conversion labels, okay? Notice that it takes the name and we have a specific uh, alphanumeric value here, okay? So this is the way it works. Now we want to go back to our Google Tag Manager, okay? So here, notice that we have a clean slate, a clean container, and we have a couple options. Here we have the new tag. This is where we're gonna be creating the tag. We have triggers, okay? Which the triggers is basically what's gonna fire uh, upon that action, right? So what's gonna ensure that this tag fires on for the Google conversion, right? So it tracks the actual conversion. So we're gonna get there in a second. We don't have to worry about variables and all those, of these other uh, advanced things for, for now. We're just gonna focus on tags and triggers keep it very simple okay so let's go back and we're going to create a tag one important thing that you want to do before creating the conversions themselves is adding the conversion linker tag here this should, in my opinion this should be in the top so people know because i've seen people they, they try to set up their conversion and then you know they don't know why it's not firing if they set it up they follow certain steps but this is the first step that you should do set up the conversion linker tag okay if you run into this you just want to refresh it that's all it is okay so let's set up the conversion linker i'm going to go here just going to type in the name tag configuration you can either search it here or you can just find it conversion linker here we go you don't need to worry about any advanced settings here for the time being and then we want to just select a fire on all pages so we now we have our conversion linker so what's the next step the next step is to create our conversion tag Okay, so remember, the first step that we already did is we added this to our funnel. Without adding this to your funnel, nothing's gonna work. Okay, that's the first thing. Second step is setting up the conversion action here. Okay, it's already created, and then we're following the instructions we're setting up with Google Tag Manager. So this information is what we're gonna need shortly. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up the tag, and we're gonna call this basically the same as the conversion, okay, which is right here. LD free guide lead, LD free guide lead, okay? And this one is called Google Ads Conversion Tracking. So now I have a few options here, and we're only gonna be concerned about two of them, the conversion ID and the conversion label. Okay, so we have the conversion ID here. All we gotta do is just copy and paste. Copy and paste it in here, and then the conversion label, just go back, and we have the alphanumeric code here. And all we gotta do is hit save. Okay, we don't need to worry about all of this data just yet or advanced settings. All we have to do is hit save, but we're not done yet. We need to create a trigger. So very important. Let's go to the trigger and we actually are going to choose where where this should fire. So before I, I do this, okay, you start thinking, okay, well, it should fire when somebody opts in, but you want to go back to your funnel and when somebody goes here, okay, where do they go? So you want to do a quick little test before doing the, the, the actual conversion test, right? The preview. So if you do it here, let's see where it takes us. There you go. It redirected to the page. And I really recommend this. I know I've seen a lot of outdated websites or, or funnels where they just don't redirect. It just kind of says, oh, thank you for submitting. And it's based on a button click. While you can track button clicks on GTM as well, because you can track pretty much about anything, I strongly recommend you to create a thank you page and have a redirected page. It's just gonna make life so much easier on your tracking and on the actual setup itself, okay? Notice that here we got redirected to this thank you page. So this path here is what we need. So we're gonna go back to Tag Manager. And here, we're not gonna select all pages. We don't want this to fire on all pages. Okay, we want this to fire on specific pages. So we could actually do it, the change here. Here's the trigger configuration and it's gonna be page view. And we're not gonna do all page views again. We're gonna do some page views. And we're gonna do page path contains this. And that's basically gonna be free guide, thank you page. And that's our trigger, right? So this is what's gonna allow this conversion to show up here in the conversion tracking. So we're gonna go ahead and hit save and we have our opt-in conversion set up. So let's go ahead and do a preview of this as well as in Google Ads. So there's a couple of ways you can go about it. So we're gonna do it here and then you have the domain there. Go ahead and hit connect. Now, very important, something before I get it, I, I do the test here is you want to ensure that your thank you page, so go back, go to your thank you page on your funnel and you want to make sure that it's also 
there okay that the gtm script is also on that page okay so locate it and that is very important you go to that thank you page and go to the scripts and make sure that the gtm scripts is also added on that page that is very important so let's go ahead and go back here we're going to do this test go to this is the debug information if you go to this tag you're going to see well, why, why is that uh, flickering like that don't worry it's connected that's all you need to care about okay so notice that a conversion link is fired on, on the on this particular page what we want to fire is this tag which is the google ads conversion that we just set up here we actually want to hit done before we start the test so there's the conversion right here free guide and let's go back to the test here there you go so let's go back and tags fired you can click in here you can see the information right? It's a very simple conversion tracking setup on the opt-in. And here you could also do the same thing. It says unverified. All you got to do is just click troubleshoot and just follow the same step, follow the same step. And it will change that particular or unverified to no recent conversions, which is what you want, right? There you go. So go back and there you go. But this is how you set up the conversion tracking. And remember when you're setting up the campaign to end the video, when you're setting up the campaign, so I'm just going to do a quick, quick little test here. All right. So let's say leads here is what I wanted to show you. Okay. You see all these conversion goals. You want to optimize for one specific, right? If it's just a lead magnet that you're going to be optimizing for. So when you're setting up your campaigns, you go and, and set up if it's for leads. So in this particular example, we're, you know, we want opt-ins, we want lead magnets, uh, leads. So why do you need book appointments? Why do you need outbound clicks or page views, right? So we get rid of those and you just basically leave the ones that we want to optimize for, which is submit lead forms. Notice that there's five actions here. Okay. You don't need all of this, right? So you want to remove these from your conversion actions. That's very important that you do that. So that way it's just, it's a simplified optimization setup here. So that way you're telling Google, Hey, this is just what, this is what I want. Okay. I want leads and that's just going to simplify the account. It's going to simplify uh, the algorithm to ensure that it gets you more of those conversions. Okay. So you hit continue and basically just go through the, the setup uh, as usual. Okay. That is the way that you set this up. So there you have it guys. That is a tutorial of setting up Google conversion specifically with Google tag manager for your YouTube ad campaigns. Remember conversion actions, you want to simplify it as much as possible. And in terms of setting up the conversion tracking, it doesn't have to be complicated with GTM. You already saw it's a very useful tool to ensure that you are measuring performance the right way. If you don't not measuring conversions, you're not seeing where leads are coming from, where sales are coming from, book calls are coming from, then what are you doing, right? Where are you spending money? Where should you allocate your budget? These are the bigger questions that you need to ask yourself when setting up these campaigns. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, turn on your notifications when we drop some more YouTube ad and video advertising knowledge your way. And we'll see you on the next one.